it was an awesome experience, you know. Growing up as kids, that was our main goal, to like, win a state championship, you know, and always being compared to the 1991 team with you know, Coach Fred, and they were the last team to even get to stay. So we had just been striving the whole season to win our conference, we did that, and then we tried to get to stay, and then once we got to stay, you know, it was a great experience for us to just finally reach our goal and win that state championship. Oh, definitely wasn't just about our team, it was definitely about the community. They were, they were behind us the whole season, and you know, we were striving for perfection. And I mean, Ames has had some great teams in the past, but we hadn't had the luck to get to the state tournament. So once we got to the state tournament, everyone was excited to see Ames basketball up there once again. There were some scouts, obviously, but you know, those are the Kansas, and not many people have the opportunity, like Harrison, to get recruited by a school like Kansas. But then when you go to the state tournament, there are a lot of other schools who just take the opportunity to just send a scout there just to see, you know, what kind of talent there was. And just for them to have the opportunity to see us play three games against good quality teams was really important for some of us, you know, to get our names on the map. We had, it wasn't much, but we had this little thing, we get in like a little circle and we start moving around. We just like, hey, what, Ames high, just to get us pumped up for the game. Well, definitely, you know, being an Ames kid in the Ames community, uh, state championship is something that these people won't forget. You know, it's quite an accomplishment because there's been plenty of people, you know, I've played Ames high sports and not many of them can call themselves state champions. So it's something that I'm very proud of and this community is still very proud of.